So hello guys, today I am back with another project that is project number 43, Astronaut Daily Schedule. So here these are instructions. So in this project we will work on Firebase also. So now we will start our project. Yeah, so hello. on this project we have to create two screens. Hello. And now I will go on Thunkable. Create hello. a new project. Project name will be Astronaut Daily Schedule. Okay, and now we will click on create. Okay, and now we will click on background picture and from we will take any astronaut picture we can take from Google. So from here we can take any pictures. So I will take. So here I will take this picture. So here I will take this picture. Yes. And from here we can copy image address. And now we will first of all we will design it. So first we will take label. So first of all we will take a label. Okay, and then we will change, we will write text astronaut, astronaut daily schedule, astronaut daily schedule. Okay, and now we will put font size, font size will be 30 and the color will be blue and here we will change font weight to 900 and now we will go and now we will take a lay uh, we will take a text input below label okay so we will also take a column Okay, so I will delete this column. So I have to delete this label and text input because I have I have to put column. Okay. Yeah, so here I will delete text input and label and I will put a column. Yeah, on column, I will change vertical alignment to space around. And then I will take a label. And I will take a label. And here I will change the text to astronaut daily schedule. Font size will be 30. And color will be blue. And font weight will be 900. And now I will take a text input. Text input I will take below label. And text in and text input which I will take text input text input will hint will be hint will be enter activity here. Enter activity here. Okay, and then again I will take one more text input below text input one. And hint will be add description. Add description.
add yeah, description and now i will take a row on the i will take a row below text in, below text input to and row and row yeah and row height will be fit content and inside row i will take two buttons inside row i will take so first button text will be add new task add new task okay and then next button i will take button b i will take one second and now i will take a second button below row 2 below row 1 so yeah this button text will be a uh, button well, one will be yeah so button two text will be show task list show task list and now i will take a label okay and now i will take a label below button 2 i will take one label okay i will not take a label it's okay and now i will create second screen that will be screen 2 so the same so on screen 2 first of all i will change the background picture background picture will be same and now i will take a column and i will take a column and vertical alignment and vertical alignment i will change to space around okay and now on screen 2 i will take a list weaver i will take a list weaver and then i will take a row that will be row 2 below list weaver i will take a row and uh, on row we will again take two buttons again i will take two buttons okay now i will take the row yeah and row and row and row width and row height will be fit content and i will again take two buttons first of all i will take one button will uh, under uh, inside row inside row two i will take and then here text will be back first button text will be back and then again i will take a button yeah and this second button fourth button it means button yeah it's button three so button three id will be button three id will be okay button three yeah button three id will be complete complete okay and button three will be down okay button 4 will be button okay just a second complete yeah text will be back okay so here our designing part is done so also they have given uh, i will go on yeah here i will click on start project yeah and here i will click on start project yeah so here they have given us blocks some blocks also and they have given design part also we can do here also coding and if you want to can design by our own so i'm designing by my own so now again we will go on thunkable and now our design part is done now we will go on blocks part so first of all i will design for screen one so here button four uh, this is button one okay okay and now first of all i will take button one when button one click 
in list i will go on list i will go on list and i will take yeah this blog i will take this blog and then I, first of all i will initialize a variable i will go on variable i will take initialize app variable name will be task list task list to empty list i will go on list i will take the second block empty list yeah now i will go on variable i will take app variable task list Yeah, I will take app variable task list and now I will take join block. I will go on text, I will take join block and I will click on this small setting and I will take three line. Again, I will click on setting and I will read this block and here I will type and now I will go on text input one text text input one text and then I will go on text input two text input two text okay and now I will go on set label one it means we will take this label set label one text two set label one text to i will go on text i will take this join block and here i will delete this block and then i will click on settings and i will take three lines and here i will type and then again i will click on text input one text text input two text okay and now after that i will we will first of all we will go on firebase and I will click on get started get started and then I will click on add project and project name will be astronaut daily schedule and I will click on continue button and now I will click on continue button again and I will take default account for firebase create project ID okay now i will click on continue button and now i will click on real time database okay so first of all i will go on thunkable and i will go on blocks part and i will take i will take real time database real yeah this real time db it means database yeah and now i will go on firebase i will click on real time database and and i will click on create a database i will click on next button and i will click on start in a test mode i will click on enable yeah now yeah now i will click on this setting and i will click and i will click on project settings and i will click on this web and then again I will give my project name as astronaut daily schedule and I will click on ok and I will click on register app yeah and now I will and I, now I will copy API key and then I will click on go to firebase settings and I will paste the here API and then I will copy my database URL yeah and now I will go on Thunkable again and I will paste my database URL here yes and now i will click to continue console and i will click on real time database okay so here this firebase <coughs> so here this is done and now i will go on blocks and now i will take call real time database as save 
and here I will type task. Then I will go on variable. I will take app variable task list. Okay, so here this is done. And then I will take when screen one opens. When screen one opens, call real time database add listener. Yes. And then here I will type task. And then when button 3 click navigate to screen 2 it means when button 2 click yeah when button 2 click navigate to screen 2 when button 2 click navigate to screen 2 okay screen 1 designing is done okay now i will go on screen two okay so i will go on designing part when complete it means button three when button three click and i will go on list in list in list yeah i will take this block in list App variable task list. I will go on variable. App variable task list. Remove hashtag one, and then I will go on real time database. Call real time database. Save, and here I will type task, and then I will go on variable. I will take app variable task list, and then I will go to when I will go to designing part. And I will take when button 4 click navigate to screen 1. When but button 4 click navigate to screen 1. Okay, screen 1. When button 4 click navigate to screen 1. Then I will go on screen 2. When screen 2 opens, call real time database, add listener, and then I will here type. And I will type here task and then I will go on real time database when real time database changed I will go on list viewer set list viewers once text items to value I will take here from value I can take any how much I want so I will delete this yeah so here our coding is done now we will live test and now here I will live test it. I will type here dance is equals to 3 o'clock. And here I will type 2 dance at 3 o'clock. And I will type and I will click here add new task. Yeah. And I will click here show task list. Yeah. And now here I will and I will go on Firebase settings. Yes. Yes, so here it's coming. Dance is equal to three o'clock. Who dance at three o'clock? And now here I will and here I will go on Firebase. So and I will go on Thunkable and I will click here complete. And I will click on back button. So here it's working properly. And I will go on Firebase and I will check. Yes. So on Firebase, first of all, I will go on project settings. And I will go on real time database. Yes. So yeah, now I will live test again and I will type another thing i will type sing is equals to seven o'clock and here i will type two sing at yes seven add new task it's coming properly and i will click on show task list yeah here also it's coming properly and now I will go on Firebase settings, task 1. It's coming. 
okay and now i will click on complete button and i will click on back button okay so here it's working properly So you also have experience with now here. So here, this is screen one, and this is screen two. Yeah. So this is screen yes. two. Yes. So here our coding pad is done and blocks also and it's working properly. So soon I will come back with another project that is 44. So bye guys.